Education. Ponsai Dream. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For this episode I'm gonna restyle this beautiful Easter White Cedar or Tuja. Uh, this is a typical tree from the north of the United States and uh, the particularity of this tree is that uh, it's a juniper but uh, it has this uh, particular flat foliage so you have to style it uh, a little bit uh, like uh, uh, a spruce style with everything nice uh, and flat uh, rather than try to create uh, pads uh, as you do in the for a juniper for example the trunk is amazing with uh, a lot of character in the dead wood and live line and uh, he has also tight foliage that uh, as I said you have to treat differently than the normal uh, junipers uh, this tree Original front uh, is the one we are seeing now, but uh, looking around uh, the tree, I find out that also the back part of the tree is very, very interesting. I feel that the trunk uh, is uh, more powerful. I have this beautiful dead wood coming from the old uh, roots, uh, and uh, the live line has a fantastic movement uh, crossing the front and going to this uh, interesting side branch. The original front is uh, a little bit more normal. All the base is alive. I have a big live line here going up, but uh, the central part of this uh, live line is just straight and I don't have uh, so much dead wood impact, visual impact as uh, I have uh, in this side having this gene, this section, and also the two live line going up to the first branch in the right and first branch in the left. So I will just uh, inclinate a little bit more the tree towards the front uh, and use uh, the old back of the tree as the new front. Let's start. The particularity of this tree that has a lot of roots uh, in the base uh, and also they can have a lot of hair roots uh, around the trunk is that they grow in a very wet uh, part uh, of the north of the United States uh, most of the time closer to lakes uh, and very wet buggy areas uh, so there is a big uh, amount of moss uh, growing around the trunk uh, and that's the reason why the level of the roots always ri rise up uh, and they can create a lot uh, of air roots around the trunk. This is a, a really cool particularity of uh, this tree. So what I'm doing now, I'm cleaning very well the live lines to accentuate those movement and what I'm gonna do starting from this uh, shari here, I will go down and open a little bit more of a shari line in this area to accentuate this movement of the live line and separate from this one here. Now that the shard is done, I'm gonna remove these two air roots. Completely this one. And the second, it will be just like a little gel. Thank you. 
A lot of work on a tree like this one that is so compact is about the detail. So taking care of every th single detail is very, very, very important. Like this shari here that is on top of this branch, acting like this branch detached from the sh main shari, is very good to clean and show off. It will be a fantastic detail inside of the overall shape of the tree in the future. Now that the main work uh, on the dead wood is done, uh, we're going to start uh, selecting some branches and uh, according to the different lines, uh, opening up uh, and creating pads. As I said, the vegetation of this type of tree is a little bit tricky, so when uh, you create a branch and a pad, you want to put everything, everything flat and support especially the strong part and eventually prune them back in this way so the energy can be reused in the inner part or eventually some of the inner little branches it's very important to never flip a branch upside down because the under part is not uh, used to receive direct sun and uh, when we expose the tree to the uh, sun outside it can easily burn so eventually if some branch uh, naturally is flipping because the competition inside of the foliage when uh, we put everything together to create the pad we want to position nicely everything in the correct uh, angle. So now that all uh, the right part is wired uh, from uh, the inner branches out to the tips, uh, I can start uh, shaping the pads. So I lift up uh, all the upper foliage and I start uh, creating my lower lines. use the uh, wire twist uh, to put the branches in the position I want and I start align uh, the end uh, nice and flat. If I have stuff that flops down uh, I can cut them and clean. Some branch can be pruned back uh, and also some tips uh, can be shortened to move the energy in the inner part of the pad. While I wire, I can already start stopping the strength of some of the branches. For example, this one I'm wiring right now. You can see this section. This is the elongating section of the tree. So I leave uh, the two inner strong foliage and I go and I already prune away this one. 
doing that, I split the strength of the tree between these two branches and then uh, I can go and wire those two and start opening. Something important to do during the growing season when uh, the tree recreate the strength uh, and will start pushing on some of these or some of the inner one uh, will become dominant we can go inside uh, and pinch uh, in this way I take a branch and I show you so I remove the dominant here and then during the growing season I can remove uh, the outside part uh, to compact uh, the tree. is set uh, with all the pads and the line I need uh, to move uh, in the upper part I have a big branch here in the front that is covering an interesting section here so I want to try to push this branch back by pruning uh, and opening up uh, a nice spot uh, where I can appreciate this and eventually just the frame uh, that part uh, with some smaller branches coming from the inside I will just create a little gin uh, here and uh, I want to really put more interest to this uh, particular focus point on the tree so now only the apex uh, is left what I have to do I have to put a thicker wire in these three parts uh, that uh, made uh, the canopy on the top uh, and then uh, because the old front was this one and so this part uh, is facing the back I want to push this down to then get more power to this section that will be the new frontal apex for the new front of the tree. pretty happy with the change of the front I really feel uh, this side has much more detail uh, than the other one the tree look more powerful and uh, I try with the positioning of the green uh, 
to highlight the different detail, this gin, the twist of the live line, this other gin here, the nice branch that broke um, who knows many years ago, and at the end uh, put on top this apex to frame and close uh, the entire composition. So it's important on these pieces uh, uh, the maintenance, so pinch, pinch, pinch uh, and keep uh, all the foliage uh, nice and tight so along the season always being careful to not allow any branch to get too strong, especially in the apex and uh, for this episode it's all, thank you so much for following me, see you at the next!